On Wednesday night, prior to the film's strength in numbers, Charlie Sturgis, executive director of Mountain Trails Foundation, presented select community members and organizations with custom engraved gold level ride center plaques. These plaques were given out to thank these organizations and individuals for their help and support in making Park City the first and only IMBA Gold Level Ride Center in the world. persevered and Deer Valley uh, kind of primed the pump for the rest of the area. So that having been said, Park City Mountain Resort. Uh, I think Krista's here. I don't know everybody's here for these, but Park City Mountain Resort. And uh, John O'Connell with Colony. Without the Colony, it's And I'm going to go back to something, just a little history. I remember meeting with Walt over at the colony. Troy and I met with him years ago. And when he was first talking about letting trails go on, they were going, well, why would you want to do this? And they were doing it. I mean, here they are building very expensive homes, appealing to some very uh, wealthy people, and yet they were willing to open their lands to the general public to use as you know, non a non-motorized recreational sense. you got to give them a hand for that. The Canyons has obviously been a big player in the last few years. And yeah! Obviously, it's not been a All right. Uh, okay, so without, you know, once you get pet, once you get the land, 
uh, kind of lined up, which as you can see, lined up pretty well when you go from Deer Valley, Park City, Canyon, uh, or Cullen, in the 1980s, and go, why did the city council decide that uh, open, open land or trails was a good idea? And why did some county get on board with all these guys? It's because they had enough vision and they saw the future of it. And so we want to recognize Park City uh, Municipal Corporation, our hometown. <laughs> You know, Dan is just back from China. He's uh, been, uh, been out there uh, letting the world know about Park City as well. Summit County, and I don't know who came to Summit County. Sally! Oh, Sally, all yeah, right, Sally. Yeah. You know, we couldn't, we couldn't do this without some of the uh, help from the Park City uh, Chamber Bureau. And it's Bill, that's coming up. And Sandoval Basin, which is an incredible crew, and I think Senta is. Did Senta go? Senta. Okay. 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 Senta is freshly uh, rehabbing from her ACL injury. She looks pretty good, that thing's out. So, also that goes with this whole process tonight is. Once you get past the government entities, you've got to have local business support. A huge way. And this is not to say that others do not step up, but when you're really talking about the rental, the information, the knowledge, and being able to get a customer out the door into what used to be a fairly complicated train control system because we didn't have signage, uh, is really a remarkable thing. And it really comes from having dedicated employees who were dedicated to riding. White Pine Touring, I think Julian's accepting for White Pine Touring. Dude, dude is out there somewhere. Dude uh, is accepting for Coles. And Todd is accepting for James. Okay, you know, once again, there's a people are, are out there who have been advocating for land purchasing. Now, that's a whole other different part of making this happen. And a lot of our uh, current trails, the way we got to be in, in almost 400 miles of trails in the west side of Summit County alone, is through land purchases that basically become deeded over into open space or their easements that allow us to go through the through those lands. Uh, it's remarkable. And Summit Land Conservancy, which I think Cheryl should be here. <laughs> Utah Open Lands. Uh, I don't know if Wendy was able to make it up. I don't know if she, I heard from her in the end. Uh, but we'll send that off to you tonight. And, now, and then, specifically for the award, to actually land this award, there was this long, long questionnaire. It was kind of probably about a two year process. But in the end, out of 100 points that you could have, uh, correct me if I'm wrong on this part, but we missed on two points. Uh, so, you know, when your kids come home and tell you you got 98, this is pretty cool, right? So, we got 98, all right? And the only. So, Mark, Mark Fisher, one and two, Mark Fisher. Uh, Scott House, who is a white man, but also. Important in making this happen was Rhonda Sedaris with uh, yeah. So, all that, I mean, once all these components were in place, we still have to go build the trails. So, I really can't tell you how important it is. You see these guys out there all the time. The guys who have been working out on our trails for the last, I don't know, I'm going to have to ask Bob, I think Bob, 10 years? Bob? 10 years, Bob? Rick, I know seven. But uh, let's get Bob Recky, Rick Fournier, and Don Taylor, who started the trail in the Uh, with, with Don here. Greg, good evening. Uh, 
Don and I built the trail as volunteers. Oh, he was probably working. He was probably on payroll. But we built, one of, we built one of the first trails well before we had machines. We barely had tools. I don't know, what was that, 1992? Probably up in the upper section of Deer Valley. Deer Valley was just getting really fired up to do the whole lift thing. It was really, I mean, I can remember being out there, and I, I don't know, down, you remember the name of that trail? It's that little one that goes through the Aspen that winds up there. Um, uh, Aspen Slaw. Yeah, maybe Aspen Slaw. But anyhow, it, I mean, it still sticks in my mind to this day. We're out there building trails as volunteers with all our hand tools. We have obviously stepped it up a lot since that point. So, anyhow, <laughs> moving along, two people who are completely totally visionaries in this, uh, in this community for going with open lands and trails and recreation. One of them I can remember sitting down with in, I don't know, it had to be 1986, had something in her hands called basically a Summit County Master's Trails Plan that nobody liked. Right? We were going out to the county and going, hey, you guys, you don't really like this trail thing. And everyone's looking at us like, you're out of your mind. But that was little Miss Sally Elliott. And uh, Sally, you're up here already. So Sally's down. Uh, she's going to be up in two of us. She has, been, she has been pivotal in making, sort of having that grand view of how things could connect. And uh, it's really important. Uh, and then... You know, a lot of money and build trails, and it's like, great, you know, as long as we put a shovel in the dirt, I'm all for it. And that is Mr. Jan Wilking, who has been in town for many years. Jan has been a longtime board member of Mountain Trails. He was also the founder of Mountain Trails. He was also uh, the individual, and I actually probably helped him a little bit at that time. Uh, to, we went through the hiring process together. We hired the two other significant people in our lives who were with Mountain Trails. It's Troy Duffin, the very first executive director of Mountain Trails, who made this whole thing take off. <laughs> so Troy, are you out there? Come on, Troy, you gotta come up here. Something bad is wrong. And I want to see you. Anyhow, and I, I don't believe that uh, Carol Potter is here tonight, our second, but a very, very influential <laughs> The Gold Level Ride Center is a designation given by the International Mountain Biking Association, a nonprofit organization. Reporting for KPCW, I'm Nate Vineyard.